Well, this week's project is incredibly simple. It's a table saw clutter catcher is what I'm calling it. A, a set of shelves next to the table saw to hopefully catch a bunch of crap that I normally pile on the table saw. And it's so simple that I don't want to just throw it together here in SketchUp because that'd probably take just one or two minutes and be pretty boring. So why not change things up a little bit and make the entire project from this one particular camera angle. And I think it can be done because it is so simple, but we do have some elements on the back side that we can't necessarily get to, so uh, we'll have to be flipping some stuff around. But anyway, let's get right to it. R for rectangle from the origin, and I'm gonna draw a rectangle on the green and red axis, or green and red plane, rather. My dimensions say the first one is the longer of the two, so let's press 60 comma 8.5, enter. I have a piece of three quarter inch plywood that is 60 inches long, and I want this shelf to be eight and a half inches off of the wall. P4 push pull, the plywood is three quarters of an inch, so pull at 0.75, enter. Spacebar, triple click, G for component, enter. T for tape measure, and the distance from the top of the top shelf to the bottom of the bottom shelf needs to be 10 inches, enter. So I dropped a little guideline, M for move, control brings up copy, and we can set the top of this piece to the top of that guideline delete the guideline and I do want the bottom shelf to be a little bit less than the top shelf as far as length so I have a little bit of an overhang so let's right click and say make unique you are no longer a copy T for tape measure and I'm gonna drag a tape measure or a reference line rather to the center of this piece so that I can chop off an equal distance on either side the Top shelf is 60 inches, and I want the bottom shelf to be 54 inches. So half of 54 would be whatever's on the right side. So 54 divided by 2, enter. And do the same thing over here. 54 divided by 2, enter. Space bar, double click to edit this part. Use a window to only select that face on the side that we can't see. M for move. And let's drag this back to the guideline. Same thing over here. Whoops, I clicked to get out of my part. Same thing over here, let's use a window to only select that face we can't see. Drag it to the guideline, and there we go. Now I can delete my guidelines. And what that did is it gave me two perfectly centered shelves with the appropriate overhang on both sides. Now let's draw the vertical pieces. R for rectangle, and let's drop a rectangle onto this top face. My dimensions say the second dimension is the width of the piece, so let's press comma, 0.75, enter. P4 push pull, let's push this piece of plywood all the way up to the top. Now before I make this a component, I want to cut a notch in the back side, but I can't see the back side. Uh, that's how it's going to attach to the wall, so let's just draw it on the front side. I'm going to use a window to select only this top line, M4 move, control brings up copy, and I'm going to copy another line down 3 inches, enter. P4 push pull, let's push this in, 0.75 inches, enter, space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. That gave me a nice little notch on the front side which I can rotate around to the back side. Now you've probably seen me do this many times where you just copy a piece wherever you want, press X2 to multiply it by two and you can keep modifying that, X4, X5, X2 again, uh, whichever you prefer to multiply multiple copies in the forward direction. But someone told me uh, about the division. You can do the same thing with division. So let's grab this, M for move, control brings up copy, and I did not know this, so thanks for pointing this out to me. But if you copy a piece to the final destination, and you want to divide the space in equal numbers, all you have to do is press divide to enter, and that divided that space into two pieces by using another copy of the part that you copied. You can keep changing that, divided by five, enter, divided by 15, enter, whichever you want. I only want two spaces, so I'm going to go back to divide to enter. And that works out really well, so thanks for pointing that out. R for rectangle, and I'm going to draw this little brace strip that I will use to screw through and into the back wall. P4 push pull, let's pull this all the way up to the top, space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. Now like I said, these are on the, it's, it's on the front side of it, but I want it to be on the back side, so. Let's highlight all of this, right click and say flip along the green direction. So now my bracing strip that I can screw through, or mounting strip, whatever you want to call it, is on the appropriate side. All the notches are on the appropriate side as well. And actually just looking at this, 
I think I want the top shelf top shelf to be just a little bit deeper. So I'm going to double click to edit the part. P4 push pull. Let's pull this away from the wall another. Let's see, I was at eight and a half. Let's go 1.5. Enter. That puts me at 10 inches of total front to back depth on this top shelf and eight and a half inches on these bottom two shelves. So that's that's pretty much it. This this is a uh, very simple and easy to make out in your real shop um, little shelf system that you can make and actually here in SketchUp it's very easy to do as well. I made the entire project with the joinery on the back side uh, without ever changing my view. So anyway now that it's done I will change my view and give you a better perspective of this very very simple shelf. But anyway I hope you enjoyed it just changing it up a little bit by not changing the view. That's it. You guys take care and have a great day.